Hey there, welcome back to another episode of This Guy's Thoughts. Like always, I appreciate you swinging by the channel, taking the time to watch a beer review. Uh, tonight, another pumpkin ale we're going to feature here on the channel. This one here is out of uh, Masthead, uh, out of uh, Masthead Brewing Company out of Cleveland, Ohio. So another in-state Ohio uh, brewery we're going to feature here. So uh, Masthead is a brewery and restaurant is what it says right here. Never been there. Um, I do know it's in Cleveland, Ohio. I didn't know that actually before I actually bought this, um, where they were out of. Uh, but this here is a Haunted Hayride Pumpkin Ale. That's what they're calling it. Haunted Hayride Pumpkin Ale. Coming in at 7.3% alcohol by volume. Uh, it does have a little bit of reading on the back. Not really a little bit. Quite a bit of reading right there. Uh, I'll get into that here in a second. So I'm sure you can see the artwork up there rolling wherever I have it. Just a nice... Uh, Screams, screams pumpkin beer. Got the big old pumpkin right there on it. Haunted hayride under it. Uh, fits the holiday, or holiday, fits the season. I'm going to give it a four out of five for the artwork. Now the back of the can reads, it's a pumpkin L, 7.3% alcohol by volume. Fall on the north coast is most nostalgic of the four seasons. As the days get shorter, the nights get cooler, and the leaves start to change. We're taken back to times telling stories by a campfire, trick-or-treating, and hay rides at a pumpkin patch. Uh, these are often some of our best memories with family and friends. While we hope you're not doing any trick-or-treating of your own these days, we hope that you enjoy this beer with those closest to you as you take the next generation out to earn their weight in candy. Haunted Hayride is, a, is an amber ale brewed with pumpkin, cinnamon, nutmeg, and ginger. So I did pick up a four-pack of this, $10.99 for the four-pack. Um, normally, I don't pick up four or six packs of Oktoberfest or pumpkin ales. However, this I did. Might have some available for trade. I don't really know. Depends on how well I like it. And I picked up a, a Braxton Brewing Company a four pack um, as well. Um, typically, I like those breweries, that brewery. So I'm hoping that I didn't get burnt on buying the four pack and I'm going to be stuck with some pumpkin ales that I don't really uh, enjoy. Because the only thing that held me up on this, I really had to think about whether I wanted to buy it, was ginger. Not a huge ginger fan. So I'm hoping the ginger in this is rather mild. So. We shall find out, okay? So, I'm going to crack this thing open, see what it smells like, see what it looks like, and then see what it tastes like. So, if you are new to this channel, be sure that you like, subscribe, comment. Well, if you like it, if you want to subscribe, I'd appreciate it. If you want to drop a comment and check out my other content, that'd be awesome. Uh, if you want to hit that notification bell down there, that would also be awesome. So, let's see what we got here. A little bit harder on the pour there. All right, is it going to contain? Yes, the glass is going to contain it. So definitely a nice amber color to that. Very nice. I kind of hold it up here to the light. It looks very, very dark on camera, but it is a very, very nice amber color to this. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you're seeing something there. Uh, we got about three fingers of just a tan colored, light tan colored uh, head. Pretty frothy looking. There are some larger bubbles popping inside it, but there is a nice frothiness to this head. As far as aroma, yeah, get everything. Get the pumpkin. Get the spices, all the pumpkin spices. I do pick up some of that ginger in there. A little bit, little bit stronger on the ginger than I was really hoping in the aroma. So let's hope that the taste really isn't uh, that gingery for my likings. I get the nutmeg. I get the cinnamon. It smells like uh, mixing up a, you know, uh, some pumpkin pie. Mixing it up, getting ready to make some pie, getting ready to make some, maybe some pumpkin bread, a pumpkin roll or something. You put a little ginger in there. That's exactly what it smells like. So... Nothing else left to do but get a drink on. So, full body mouthfeel. 
7.3% alcohol. I very much was able to pick up alcohol in that. Now it's not an alcohol burn, but I could taste the alcohol in this one here. Ginger, much, much more mild than I was expecting. Um, pleasantly surprised with that. I do get a bit of the nutmeg, the cinnamon, Maybe a little bit of like an all-spice type of um, spicy, uh, you know, picking up that type of spice in here. Of the spices, probably the nutmeg comes through a little bit more. Also kind of tastes like a mild pepperiness to this. Just a hint of it there. But it does have a very nice pumpkin flavor to it. Uh, this has a bit more of an alcohol um, taste to it, not not that, not like a the barrel aged one that I reviewed, um, you know, a few reviews back, um, where I could feel that burn. It's like ten percent barrel aged. This I can feel the alcohol. I can taste the alcohol. I can taste the pumpkin. I can taste the spices in it. More dominant on the nutmeg type of spiciness to it. Overall, it's rather uh, rather good. Yeah, this is something um, I can definitely drink again. I don't know if I'll drink all four of these myself. Um, as far as scoring this, I'm going to give it a four out of five. Uh, my pumpkin beer palette, I guess you might say, has changed quite a bit over the last few years. A few years ago, this is one I probably wouldn't score higher than a three and a half. Um, I've come to actually enjoy these seasonal pumpkin beers. Um, not something I drink every day, all the time. For a pumpkin beer, for this time of the year, late September, um, four out of five, solid, solid beer. One I would say definitely uh, pick up if it's in your area, try it out. You like pumpkin beers, try this out. Hey, anyhow, I appreciate you swinging by the channel, taking the time to watch this review. I hope that you uh, become a subscriber. I hope that you like this video.